Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. One of Park City's favorite nonprofits is undoubtedly the Park City Education Foundation. They have one of their biggest fundraisers, Running with Ed, coming up on Saturday. But I'm thrilled to be sitting down with our friend Jen Billows from the foundation, as well as someone who can now call themselves an award-winning Park City High School teacher. We have Debbie Alcox, and then the recipient of sort of the Bright Futures program, Rebecca Gonzalez. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So Debbie, I want to start off um, with you as an award-winning teacher. This is, and we're gonna embarrass you, and I know it's hard <laughs> to talk about yourself in such glowing ways, but fortunately the students did it for you. So Jen, the, the Excellent Educators Award, Jen, mm -hmm. tell us how this sort of came about. Yeah, so um, a, a former board member, Jim Doyleney, way back, 1996, so 25 years ago, um, was on our board, and his mother was a teacher, Sarah Doyleney, and he really wanted to um, start an award to honor her and honor her work. He was, he just thinks teachers are amazing and so he started the excellent educator awards and for the most part um, they're voted on by the teachers and the staff at each school and there's a winner for each school but there's also a very special award that's near and dear to his heart and that is named for his mom Sarah and Stephen Doyleney award and that is voted on by the senior class as the teacher who is the most inspirational in their entire school career so if they've you know, been here since kindergarten. They can go back to kindergarten. And um, this year was super exciting. Uh, my own twins have had her for math this year, and the recipient was Deb Alcox. Was Miss Debbie Alcox. Yes. So I can't even imagine what it must have felt like out of all of the teachers within the Park City High School or in the Park City School District, like going back to kindergarten through seniors, all got together. It's like the People's Choice Awards. I know the goal of every teacher is to instill a sense of greatness in these children and help them into their futures. And they said reciprocally to you, you've done that for us. So you know it's just really hard because there are all the teachers that do such a great job so that's why it's kind of humbling because you're sitting there going you know it's an honor just to be able to teach and it's it's just wonderful to be part of their lives but I'm truly passionate about each and every single student that walks into my door I tell them over and over I will know about you two years from now five years from now I had a student come back ten years later and he came into my classroom and I knew about him and it's just kind of exciting to see how they grow how they change and and you're just so personal invested in their futures and they obviously feel that which is why they voted you as one of the most inspirational uh, we have a video of Debbie accepting the award let's let's take a look too you are just so proud and it's so beautiful and it's so lovely and I love that the students serenaded you <laughs> with music to the award what a fantastic honor I just you must be so proud I it was just so shocking because I really was thinking the kids were you know they were doing this for the kids because they are going through so much stress with AP testing and everything the whole process and yep so it was just shocking they reached out to you and Rebecca we do want to talk about the uh, bright futures program another fantastic addition to the Park City Education Foundation. You are a graduate of the 2014 class. Correct. Talk to me about the influence that that program has had on your career. It, it's been amazing. You know, I never saw myself um, actually being so invested in this community after graduating Park City High School. And just like Ms. Alcox inspires so many students, she inspired me and a lot of teachers in the in at Park City High School and throughout my um, education there. And um, for me, it was like I want to be a teacher. I want to be oh. an inspiration for <laughs> students. Uh, 
of uh, all ages and uh, definitely be a role model and be able to say, hey, teachers, because of teachers like Miss Alcox, I was able to pursue a degree in education and um, teach in my community. So it's been uh, such an honor for me to help um, these first generation college students um, get to know the college knowledge early on because I started learning more of my college knowledge uh, my senior year where I was learning, okay, I have to do this because uh, at, the dinner, at the dinner table, we didn't have conversations about college. It was mostly about graduating high school, making sure I graduated high school, but then I was like, but mom and dad, it doesn't just end there. It ha I have to go and pursue my teaching degree. So now at the University of Utah, um, being a senior this year, I'm, I'm excited to um, transition and then hopefully be a full-time teacher at the high school soon. So that is we can't wait. <laughs> we can't wait to have you. And we're running out of time on the program today, but I just want to say, as for Miss Alka, I need to call you Miss Alka <laughs> as a teacher. What an inspiration to not only win the award for current students, but to know that you're actually inspiring future students. Thank you so much, as always, for being here. Thank you. Park City Thank Education you. Foundation, one of the favorites. Make sure you get outside and support Running with Ed this Saturday. As always, thank you for joining us here on the Mountain Morning Show. We'll see you tomorrow.